Hello, I'm Kim Tizer. Today's January 24th, 2023. Here are your latest church militant headlines. The Vatican is investigating reports of a cathedral sex party in England. This month, the Dicastery for Bishops began investigating circumstances surrounding the retirement of Bishop Robert Byrne of Hexham and Newcastle, including an alleged sex party at the cathedral and the rector's suicide. Cathedral rector Father Michael McCoy reportedly hosted a sex party at his residence outside St. Mary's Cathedral in Newcastle shortly before allegedly taking his own life. It's believed his apparent suicide was linked to a regional police investigation into allegations of sexual abuse leveled against McCoy. In the U.S., the Archdiocese of Denver is being sued by an alleged sex abuse victim. Scott Verdi filed a lawsuit Thursday against the Archdiocese of Denver and ex-priest Timothy Evans, who was convicted of child sex abuse in 2007 and who Verdi says sexually abused him as a teenager over 100 times. Verdi points to a 2019 Attorney General's report detailing Evans's dismissal from the Pontifical North American College in Rome over alleged sexual harassment arguing the archdiocese never should have ordained Evans a priest in the first place. While a number of bishops are cracking down on the Tridentine Mass, one American bishop is going further and targeting masses celebrated ad orientum. A recently publicized decree from Cincinnati's Archbishop Dennis Schnur effectively bans celebrating the Mass ad orientum and demands Sunday and daily Masses be celebrated versus populum, with the priest facing the congregation. The Archbishop's mandate also orders priests not to use high altars, but freestanding altars, even if permission is granted for a traditional Latin Mass or an ad orientum Mass. Turning to Germany, the country's top bishop is explicitly condoning sexual sin. Limburg's Bishop Georg Betzing, president of the German Bishops' Conference, published a so-called sex education guide last week, promoting the blessing of homosexual couples and the use of contraceptives. The guide states sexuality is not only between man and woman, but also between woman and woman or between man and man, or between people who feel neither like a woman nor like a man. In Poland, a powerful prelate is promoting patriotism. On Sunday, Krakow's Archbishop Marek Jędrzejewski spoke on the importance of being pro-life, raising children well, and taking care of one's country. The Archbishop called on Poles to emulate the saints. Poles who, in their lives, were able to show how to combine love for God, for other people, for their homeland, culture, and history. And in neighboring Hungary, the nation's leader is also promoting patriotism. While commemorating the anniversary of Hungary's National Anthem Sunday, Prime Minister Viktor Orban reminded his people to be proud of their Hungarian heritage. He said, our greatest struggles sometimes peaceful, sometimes warlike, have always been fought so that we can remain who we are, so that we can live as we want to live, not as others tell us to live. I'm Kim Tizer. Those are your church militant headlines. Please watch The Vortex today where Michael talks about the incoherence of atheism. God bless you.